Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. This video is for our Guide Me to IT training program, but we are putting this on YouTube because sometimes people ask us, what kind of program is this or can you give us some kind of insight or so I can first watch what you guys do and then I will uh, you know, be able to invest and uh, invest the time and money as well. So here you see our whole A plus uh, training is over. Uh, these members have completed the uh, nine weeks with project and there are still things going on. Some members are still catching up. So one, one, what happened is that after week one to all the way week nine, the first course when we start, the course total access is three months so they still have a lot of time to go back to what they need to cover and test out but today in this video I am also making a video on week 10 so if you are new to our program this is how exactly how we do it it's a very relaxed program sometimes yes we go in a little bit more uh, you know uh, we, we try to get members so then they can do certain things on time but again at the end our goal is to make these members feel not so pressured but they are they have the access and there's a lot of access that soon to be uh, enabled for these members so we do everything in a very uh, sequence and a very uh, you know relaxed manner so that nobody is getting stressed so here is week 10 and week 10 we start MD 100 and MD 101 course as you can see this is where we put the whole plan for them this is a test out access and once we give this access they have to complete this in the first week so let's talk about uh, this access that we have in uh, in Windows uh, MD 100 and uh, 101 so so if I go back to uh, this uh, image uh, this image is very important uh, and I tell people that why are you taking MD 100 and uh, 101 uh, the reason for that is that currently almost every company is in this mode we call this a hybrid mode okay so back in the days few years ago we didn't have modern technologies such as cloud so we were using traditional management traditional management is let's say for example this is a laptop and this is an office and this office is connected to some kind of uh, you know room that have servers everything hardware related stuff so active directory will be a part of a, a server uh, group policy will be a part of this server and uh, other tools will be a part of this server so this management this laptop management was uh, basically limited to a traditional management kind of like a, a sysadmin uh, IT technicians will go to this work and they say this is a door and they will go inside this business and actually manage these uh, you know uh, uh, laptops and different type of devices if they had to work from outside of the company let's say this is their home they would have to VPN, right, virtual private network. They will have to VPN into this same network and then they will manage the laptops. If this laptop has to go out of this business, again, they would have to VPN to access certain, uh, you know, features from this on uh, traditional management. So what happened now is that we are moving towards the path of modern IT. And when we talk about the modern IT, we're talking about more of cloud technologies. I will talk about only Azure because that's what we're focusing on right now. So in Azure, now you have Azure Active Directory, you have Intune, you have many different type of, uh, you know, this is a whole new world. And the big one is Office 365. So this laptop is not limited to this traditional management anymore. This laptop can, can be anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world. And this laptop can directly uh, access a email right from directly by just going to Internet and accessing this Office 365 management and an admin can manage it through a man management portal. Uh, but the, the thing is that for technical people, you have to understand that we have companies that are in hybrid now. So they're using this method and this method because uh, there are many things that are still not 100% cloud. Cannot, cloud cannot uh, do that 100% or vice versa. And companies maybe don't have too much money to just invest everything in cloud because cloud, of course, is a great option, but it's not an option for every single business out there. So this is the reason why we are talking about Windows 10 is that Windows 10 these days is heavily connected to cloud uh, technologies like you know it has a way to connect to Azure Active Directory into an Office 365 and it also has a way to connect to traditional management. So this is the reason one when we say why this important is super important this course is super important is because many of these companies are actually using Windows 10. So if you're going to be talking about Windows 10 you need to understand the new features and I think the best thing to do is in our platform in our uh, courses you take the MD100 and MD101 after A+ like I showed you in the beginning. 
So once you have a good command on A+, you know the broad terminology, broad troubleshooting, everything in a broad way. And now you're going into more specifics of how to manage a corporate level or a business level environment by using Windows 10 learning. And that's why we need to understand and take this course very seriously. So by, but when you finish this course, you're going to be ready for MD100 and MD101 exams. So it's up to you if you want to sit down and exam with Microsoft. But if you pass the test out exams, you are going to get a certificate alongside our certificate. So you already have two certificates right there. And the third one is official one. If you want to go for it, you will have to pay for Microsoft ones and, and rescheduling and all that kind of stuff. But we tell people that first try with our certifications and many people have landed jobs like that. Uh, and then you can move on if you, if you feel like you already landed a job, then I you don't need this because you should go for more advanced level positions later on and certifications so now let's talk about course introduction in this course introduction you're going to know the interface this is a brand new uh, you know material from test out so I'm happy that we have it now and now this is all brand new stuff you can see when you uh, go over the first modules you're going to jump into fi files and folder management which is super important uh, knowing about files and management is extremely important when you are new uh, sometimes you don't know uh, how uh, uh, files are being managed so understanding the files and folder structure is so, super important when it comes to Windows 10 Windows installation is the first thing that you are going to come across whether uh, you land a job with a small business large business corporate level business you're going to get to the point where you have to understand what versions are they using you know you have to understand that because certain things you may try to do or you may have learned it from somewhere but it may not work the reason for that is maybe the version is not supporting what you're trying to do so it's very important that you go over this whole uh you know module in windows installation you're going to see clean installations you're going to see some facts some sources installing windows 10 and and then you're going to also learn about the features for example if you talk about active directory features or dns dscp it has to come from that type of understanding and this is where you need to learn that activation is of course simple thing most of you have already known about activation but there are certain ways you can do it from command line too and i have seen where i couldn't do something from gui and i had to go to the command line so it's good to know because sometimes you may be pressed with time and then you have to use some alternatives of course if you get stuck somewhere that you still didn't get it from this videos and understanding and the facts then you should really go back to the documentation from microsoft official site and try to learn because that's what you do you are a tech person you need to find more resources now when it comes to windows post installation uh, this is where we understand uh, this area in a little bit more deeper way because sometimes you may be deploying a windows to a many many machines and you need to uh, understand what is the post installation configuration uh, that i need to uh, perform before i deploy this to a very large environment after that you will learn about printers external devices Sometimes people will call you for local printers, network printers, share the printers, and all that type of tickets is going to be uh, resolved from this type of learning. Web browser, I want you to focus more on Edge, and IE is basically going away, and, and Edge is the, the, the new thing, and it's being managed pretty well too, so uh, make sure you spend a lot of time on this, because think about it, if a lot of people are using web-based applications like, you know, Office 365 emails and many applications that they're going to be using are these days web-based, then a lot of issues are going to arise or questions or maybe learning questions, learning tickets. I don't know how to do this. And that's where you need to learn from this type of learning. Windows upgrade. Again, this is a uh, upgrade is something that you're going to probably do it in many way, in many areas. So sometimes there's a versions update. Sometimes there are some uh, you know, quick updates that you need to uh, uh, run on these machines and upgrades are a big thing in Windows. So try to go over that because now uh, uh, upgrading Windows are definitely getting more and more advanced. And the more you're going deeper into these type of courses, the more you're going to find out uh, how easy it is to do a version upgrades these days. Profile migration. Uh, it's super important and this is where sometimes you just can't rebuild machines again and again so you have to understand how to uh, you know move a profile settings to a different machines and that's where we, you are going to learn some of the different tools USM, USMT, PC movers these, these are the things that you need to put these on your resume uh, again when you come to this point where you're doing this try to understand that if you're new and you haven't gotten a job yet or you're trying to look for more advanced jobs, 
USMT, PC Mover, Profile Migrations, these are all terms that are going to make your resume look good. Because when you put these terms, what does it tell me to the hiring managers or IT managers? You're telling me that you know something more deeper than just knowing the two radical stuff from college or any other places that you have done in a few days. But here now you're telling me that you know more. So maybe I'll ask you this in your question. You put USMT. Can you give me an example of that? And now you see you have started to do some more technical conversation with these people. So they will be very confident. One, they will love your soft skills. That's something different. You're, you're definitely going to go over that in our courses too. But second is that they're not hiring someone who needs a full-blown training. A lot of people don't have time these days. Some people may do that, but a lot of companies don't have that. So if you put all these terms out there in your resume, then you're telling me that you're confident, you're a technical person, and I will be confident to hire you. So now when it comes to Windows deployment, this is another big area, and you can see it goes from uh, dynamic deployments, dynamic deployment, autopilot deployments, and this what you see right here, uh, importing, uh, you know, deploy Windows with autopilot. You know what we're talking about here? We're talking about this right here. We're deploying, we're using this technologies these days now, this type of technologies, and not this one. Uh, of course, I'm not like most of the companies are moving towards this. Now, we have a lot of companies that are still on traditional, but when you see Pilot, uh, Azure, all that kind of stuff, it's pointing back to this area. And now you have to understand when I say Windows 10, the new modern versions all are going to push you towards this area. So you won't have any choice. You really need to learn this from this uh, course. It's a very important course. Uh, if you uh, And after this, of course, then JSS takes over, right? In phase three, we give you JSS courses, which is solely based on reality. And we just go into extreme deeper level of uh, real world skills. That's why we don't give JSS courses in the beginning in our Guide Me to IT program because it's a very guided program. That programs are designed also guided, but it's not something that we are going to be checking your work or telling you what to do or maybe later on checking your stuff, all that kind of stuff. We don't do that in that program. So this is why I think this program is super important for people who say, oh, I don't have uh, you know that kind of patience or that kind of uh, uh, mindset that I will do everything by myself, then I think this is the perfect course for you. So this is the first two modules that we have covered in week one and I want everybody to really really go over this stuff some of these are mostly videos uh, the reason for that is simple because some of these are pointing back to a, a you know um, a cloud based systems and right now just learn it later on in phase three you will have access to a lot of these uh, this type of technologies and sometimes you may be using your own trial version of access in your cloud and then still you can use our videos to perform all this stuff thank you so much I will see you in week two session and I will, I'm going to explain what is so important about imaging, device user management and all like that. Thank you so much. And if you are interested in this type of training, make sure to join our Discord in the description link. We have a Discord link. Join that and then we announce it in our Discord uh, uh we announce it in our Discord communities. We send a message out there that registration is open and you want to be fast. Just register quickly and then uh, you will be joining just like these members and finishing all of our courses just like that step by step.